I guess one thing, if you were to look at leverages for the bench, it's very, very hard for your hip to ever flex harder or higher than your knee. Okay, so if your knee is higher than what the bench is, and you go to flex with your legs, of course your hip can flex to the height of your knee. You understand what I'm saying? That makes sense? All right, so if my knee is lower than the bench here, it's very hard for my ass to come up. All right, or if my, if my feet are here, you know, my ass can come up because my knee is just a little bit higher. But now if my feet are out here, I can't get my ass to come up because my knee is lower and no matter how hard I flex, it's not going anywhere, okay? So with the feet out in front, you can get tremendous leg drive but you got to try, you're still going to be pushing your heels into the floor, but you're going to be trying to rip your feet through the front of your shoe as you press. So the setup's going to be different. You're not going to be able to have anywhere near as much of an arch. But the structure of your body and bar pack will actually end up being shorter because of it. So it's for me, it's shorter, you know, because it, it's more accommodating to my leverages. That, I benched that way for years and years until it, it, my shoulder got so hosed, I had to bench a different, a different way. For me, when my feet were way out in front like that and I missed, the bar would come back, okay? And when the bar comes back and you're in a position where the majority of your body weight and your center of gravity is this far forward, and it begins to really come back on you, there ain't shit you can do because you don't have any, any leverage up underneath it. All right, and when I'm here, and it began to come back, you know, it was easier for me to flare because I had more, you understand what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to explain the concept, but it was easier on my shoulders because of the position that I was in. So I gained a few years because of that. I didn't get any stronger. <laughs> but I've gained years. So the technique which is best is going to be the one that's going to have obviously the shortest distance and the healthiest for you. Okay, this was a long series. What I wanted to do here was to go through and pretty much show how I would teach the bench if it was in a seminar setting. So the first videos that I, I said we would post that precede this, you need to watch those just to be able to see the bench technique being explained. What you just saw was how I was showing Josh how to bench the same way I would show anybody else how to bench. Now everybody's going to be a little bit different as far as what the problems are going to be and how their cueing is going to be. You know, this, this was for him, but pretty much the, the skill level of the bencher it's pretty much all. It's, it's always the same. If I had if I had a group of guys that all bench pretty close to what he does, the problems are all going to be pretty similar. You know, his his problems actually weren't weren't that bad. Generally, the biggest problem that I see is going to be with the legs not being tight and knee and that, or the torso not being tight. Go ahead and get down again real quick. A lot of times I'll be able to come over, break your knees off, do that, and I won't be able to move here but I can come here and do that, and then all of a sudden everything kind of like goes to hell. That's probably the biggest mistake, is because if this is not tight, the transfer is not gonna go through to the bar. So you have to think about that. If the bench press is a total body exercise, but you're only using half the body, how much are you leaving you know, on, on the platform or on the bar? You can ask any questions that you have, you know, in the comments that follow, and you know, I can answer them, you know, video or however. If you would like to see somebody else, you know, with longer arms, shorter arms, let me know. We can do it that way as well. Um, I I ask 
Josh and, and Rachel, and if they had any questions that you guys may have after watching this video, we all kind of came up blank. So this is going to kind of be open to you guys at this point. So with that, you know, we will be done with the bench.